Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are going to take the fight to Malice Darkblade. I know, it's about time, right? A sly little sod hiding in the corner of the map. Well, we're going to wipe him out, because, um, well, all elves must die. Let's do it. Alright, so... Boopity boop. We have a lot of birds. <laughs> you ever noticed that? We have a lot of birds in our army. I know, I just it just dawned on me. Got a lot of birds. So, uh, you lot go in the front. We'll get our tree kin in there. It's just the usual blob up and walk forwards tactic that we've come to know and love. Um, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. I've got to say, when uh, when you're playing as wood elves, usually sort of dryads are a really interesting sort of flanking force. But when you're playing as nothing but trees, it's pretty straightforward just to charge them in and, you know, let them do their thing. Um, Alright, here you go. And, uh, ugh, I guess I don't want to charge straight into Cold One Dread Knights, do I? Nah, that probably wouldn't be the best idea. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, that's going to sting. Oof, that's probably also going to st No, no, it's not going to sting. They're a bit rubbish. Um, <laughs> never mind. Alright, go kill those Dread Knights. All right, you go chase off those dark riders. Lovely. You keep chasing them down. Uh, those corsairs are a little bit screwed, which is nice to see. Um, tell you what, bit of shades. That'll do it. All right, now you guys. That was very nice. That was a very good hit. Oof. That was very good. That was not so good. Well, that was a very good hit. Oh, well done. Well done, boys. I mean, I hate you, but well done. It's hard to stay mad when they pull off nonsense like that. It's with Zarka anyway. There he is. Oh, I missed. It's fine. Alright, now kill, kill them. Uh, the Fire Mage is out, so that's great. Alright. Yep, still chasing the Dark Riders off. I'm just going to stay up here. I don't want any of those guys getting killed. Don't worry about it. Okay, what else do I want? Uh, I keep whittling them down. Ah. Dread Knights are back. Alright, tell you what. We're getting the birds back in. We're getting the birds back in. So, let's see here. Malice has got big old ward save. Big old ward save. Right, let's buff those dryads. And yeah, black guards should be done with sooner or later. Probably later, if I'm honest. Alright, you go block him in some more. And yeah, things are going quite well over here. And it looks like Malice is just going to run away. Alright, that was a bit boring. I think we need to fight Zarkan. It's a bit sad, really. Probably should have popped that ability. I'm pretty sure he's invinci He's uh, not invincible, unbreakable when he's Arcan, but too late for that. Pyrrhic victory. Well, all right then. So I was hoping to check the abilities, what abilities he had. Should have checked beforehand, really, but I want to know what that ability was that blew everything up. But oh well, it's all good. Um, I'm going to attack them. Let's see where he runs off to. I'll have to chase him down again. Okay, come here, you. Come here. Uh, I think we actually need to fight this, because the bounce power is such that we're going to lose a bunch of our injured units. I don't want to risk that happening, so, um... I mean, it could just quick save it and see... Ah, screw it, we'll just fight it. Alright, so... Tala and the Dreamen. You're going out in front, because we're going to fight fire with fire. Fire wizard with fireballs, to be um, precise. And in it comes. Alright, let's go fight Zarkin. Or just Malice. You know, whatever he may be, currently. Alright. Do 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 do. I've got a few tools to use, so I'm pretty confident. 
pretty confident that we're going to be able to get Zarkan here. So, stop him getting his charge bonus. No charge bonus for you. All the buffs. So you can hit pretty hard right now with this whole blood price thing. Even more damage resistance. Which is pretty significant. But, um... Wow, even 46 mana defense. Even with an um, like, enfeebling foe on him. It's pretty impressive. Okay. This is fine. No oh, Lord under attack. Oh, no, come back here. Come back here, you swine. Come here, you. Cheeky man. Alright, let's hit them with another Pocky Doom. Alright, come here. Nice. Now, let's finish him off with the fireball. Whenever you're ready. Blah. Go on, fireball. Blah. Go on. Oh, I didn't finish him off. He is shattered, though. So, close enough. Good stuff. Bye, Mala. Still don't want to turn to Zarkan, huh? He is on, like, maximum... Um, possession or whatever it is. So, I mean, he should have it. See, demons... Nope, that's different. Yeah, Zarkan, there you go. He can, he can do it. He's just not bothering to do it. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Oh, well. Alright then, that'll do. Uh, we're going to abduct the captives. Again. <laughs> Fall into the sea. Get in the sea. Brilliant. And then I'm actually going to run back to Lamia before I try and fight uh, no Nonus. Nonus Hydroblood. Nonus Hydroblood. Cool name. Also, an extra 30 AP. That's good, isn't it? Good job, Tala. Good job. Uh, do not shed a tear for this darkest, most murderous of Druki. Uh, sorry, for this darkest, most murderous of Druki, may now be with the Sithrai deep within the Mirai, where he surely belongs. Except he's not, is he? He'll be back in a second, so... It's not that easy. Um, okay, now where is... Trudger, here we go. Let's take Black Crag. No Black Crag for you. So, nice tier 5 settlement, soon to be, um, maybe a ruin. I might actually just destroy it, just to really rub it in. You know, just leave leave um, their capital in tatters. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm going to do it. Okay. So. Hawks in the back. Uh, they will be doing a lot of work. Killing black hawks on the walls. But um, I think everyone will be doing quite a lot of work. Let's just have them in a group. And you lot. There. With the wolves in another. And you lot in another. Okay. Climb the walls. Smash down the gates. And fly over the walls. And, to a lesser extent, the gates. Uh, right. Now what do I want to do? They don't have any artillery, do they? Yes, they do. Brilliant. Let's kill all of their artillery. Hello. It's me. The Doom Divers. How are you? Alright, now let's murder a bunch of Arab boys. Alright. As good as dead. Let's get back up. And uh, they're shattered already. Fantastic. Alright, up you get, lads. Up you get. Come on. Need you guys to attack other targets. Silly. They already don't quite know what to do, do they? Nah, not so much. Alright, let's charge in here again. <laughs> and we'll do the walls. Perfect. Let's go attack that goblin. Um, this doesn't work on the walls, does it? Nah, it doesn't. Shame. Shame. Definitely a pity. Uh, Flock of Doom does, though. Okay, where is he? Oh, dead. He's dead. <laughs> God, they don't last long, huh? They do not last long. Alright, let's get one of those. And uh, one of these. Alright, uh, you guys back up. 
And we'll come attack these black orcs, please. Thank you. Oh, this is going great. Uh, I don't even know what to hit all these guys with, honestly. Alright, Troll's already very injured. Alright, next lot of Black Orcs, please. And so, yeah, we did wipe out their artillery over here. Oh, one's coming back, though. We did a lot of damage to their, bor their Bork boys. They're called Bork boys, I've decided. Alright. This'll do it then. And I guess I'll steal their leadership. Alright, who's next? Guess these Black Orcs that are somehow failing against uh, my Dryads. Awkward, isn't it? Very awkward. Oh, yeah, there we go. And we'll hit him with. Uh, what's that called again? I always forget. Muster of Malevolence. And let's hit their leadership again. They're probably going to suffer army losses pretty soon. Could happen. Uh, Alright, let's try and slow them again. Oh, actually, let's slow them right down. That's right, you can't even run. You can't even run now. Oh, there's another giant over there. Uh, everything's shattered up there. Oh, some trolls are on their way. Alright. Let's enfeebling foe the giant. And yeah, as as I thought. <laughs> army losses has taken. God, this army is just disgusting. It's effortless. It is absolutely effortless. Insane. I mean 65 melee attack on dryads is pretty disgusting, let's be honest. But yeah, somehow even the hawks are just tearing everything up. Just it's it's not even funny. <laughs> Poor guys. How dry to do? Only 13 kills. 1,000 value. I mean, not great. Fine, I guess. Just everything is pulling its weight. It's mad. Alright, decisive victory. And there we have it. Black Crag. In ruins. <laughs> Good news. Alright, who's next? So, uh, Grimgore, how are you feeling, by the way? They don't want peace, but strength rank 19 now, which is so, so low for greenskins. That is so, so, pardon me, that is so, so low. Um, This is all, I mean, this should all be greenskins, all the World's Edge Mountains, so the fact that we've just sort of torn through all this is sort of insane. Just not a good day to be a greenskin, apparently. I mean, it's still got 27 settlements, so. <laughs> Cries of Cracks still wants to trade. I'm not going to trade with them. I'm just not. I really should wipe out Thorgrim. I really should. But, uh... I don't know. He amuses me. What can I say? And, actually, a lot of the... Yeah, check this out. Oh, maybe not. But, like, a lot of the... Random human factions are actually... You know, they actually quite like me. They don't want to trade, though. Because they're put off by my strength. But still. It's nice to see that they want to trade. Uh, so, Crookback Mountain, that's going to be another one. Oh, wow, okay. Kind of looks like we need to fight this. I'll leave that for now. I'll come back to it. Let's see what else we've got to do. So much, honestly. So much. It's one of those campaigns, just sort of like, keep killing everything. And the jobs are good. Um, go for Karakdron. Go straight for the city. So, Durthu looks like he's going to have to fight this. Although, we've actually suffered a lot of damage from something. What did Durthu do? What did Durthu do? Did he fight one of these armies? I've forgotten. I've slept since the last uh, recording, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows what he got up to? But it looks like he's up to it again, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so. Mind the birds over here. I'm dreaming, dreaming. Durthu. Dryads, them. Oh, these two clowns. Alright, that'll do. Oh, they are over there. I wasn't sure initially where they'd be. Alright, so. And could overcast some flocks of doom.
That's right. I'm going to attack the Crimson Killers. Because I'm crazy. Alright, now let's back up. Ow. Cheeky. Okay, get stuck in over here. Yeah, you lot can all take these goblins, that's fine. Uh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that one. Jesus. I was about to use Salt of Stone thinking it was like the whatevers of Amadar. You know the one. Fear of Amadar. The one that steals a bit of... Uh, okay, I don't want to do that either. What do I? What do I do? I'm not sure where I want to be with my armies, but they, they seem to be in a bit of trouble. Them too. Them too. Alright, what else we got? What else we got going on here? Right, let's hit them. Alright, it's an orc war boss. Okay, this... Mm, don't like all of these guys being nearby, but screw it, we're going for the Goblin Archers. Okay, the enemy's starting to pile up in various ways. So, let's hit them. With the Sword of Death. Let's buff our own boys. Get the birds out of there. So, yeah, we're definitely going to lose all of our dryads over here. You know, we shouldn't have split up like that, but what can you do? And there goes the Lord. Good start. Okay. Yeah, let's hit them some more. Yeah, this is a right mess. Okay, let's get stuck in there again. That giant is doing a great job. He really is. Alright, Durthu, what else you got for us? Let's use a Curse of Andrea over there. Make sure these guys aren't getting the hits in. And make sure that our treemen can keep whittling their health down. Sounds good to me. Also, let's um, buff Dryad randomly. Good. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you're getting the work done over here. Brilliant. So they do have a spellcaster over here. Which is interesting. See if we can't kill him. Nice. Alright, they all started running away. Alright, that's nice game. Good stuff. Well played, boys. Well played. And Deathu bags another win. Alright, let's occupy that. Even though Black Crag is, is ruins right now. We could have taken it, but, you know. What's the opposite of beggars can't be choosers? That. Let's say I said that. We can definitely afford to be picky. So, um, let's have a look. What else are we planning on doing, huh? Uh, Thilvokas. You should probably get... Who was it? Savage Orcs, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, so Savage Orcs aren't great at dealing with armour. Um, they have very high melee attacks, so some extra melee defense might be nice. We don't need the arm-piercing damage, so the bonus versus infantry would be better than anything else, just because we get the bonus versus infantry on our melee attack and weapon strength, so that helps us quite a bit. So let's do that. Let's do that. And for you lot, let's just go full-on with the armor, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. And this slot. We are waiting for the ritual to be done so we get the overgrown temple of Kurnos. Brilliant. Okay. So, I guess you're going to head towards Iron Rock now. Uh, I forgot we took these on the way. Alright, we're doing okay. Carrick 8 peaks and uh, even Belagar's getting involved over here. So there's a few a few holes in Grimgore's nation. Okay, I forgot you existed. But check it out. Karak Angazhar still belongs to the uh, the the Karazankor. Isn't that fun? Huh. So where are you going? 
Where was Catch of the Lost going? I've forgotten. I think they're fighting Greenskins up here, right? Was that it? Maybe she's just lost. Maybe Catch of the Lost is just lost. Maybe that's the case. I've genuinely forgotten what she's doing there. Who am I at war with? This is too similar to my Azag campaign, so I just can't keep track of what's going on anymore. Because both of those devolved into global domination. So... Uh... Alright, Collis. Hey, right, last the Dark Elves are up there. Collis is going to head this way and start conquering this nonsense. Oh yeah, there's still still a bit of chaos. Still a bit of chaos kicking about. So yeah, that was it. I wanted to get them back somewhere safe. Though I don't know where. Because uh, these pesky lizards have decided to take everything over. That's very annoying, actually. Alright, encamp and just stay there for a bit, I guess. Fine. And uh, Zestashal can go up and join you. Seriously, though, I, I reckon these guys can declare war on me before the campaign is over. I think we're going to have to fight Mazdamundi. Which, I mean, a bit of variety. We haven't really fought any lizards yet. I didn't make friends with them, but uh, still, kind of want to be able to get through turns a little quicker, you know? Alright, Malekith. Oh, the last fight against Malekith. Apparently it's going to be quite tricky. Um, I mean, I doubt it is. I doubt it is, but Dilaric is going to have to try and fight him, so let's do it. Okay. A lot of Winds of Magic, which I think is pretty typical now. It's from all the crazy research and other nonsense we've got. We seem to just always have a huge amount of magic. Even in our starting, uh, starting amount. Which I honestly didn't think uh, actually changed at all. You know, this amount, but I guess it does. <laughs> Who knew? I bet you're all going, oh, I knew. Yeah, probably. Starting amount for Winds of Magic is not something I tend to pay attention to. Uh, okay. okay, cool. Alright, let's get stuck in over there. Over here. And let's get you in here as well. Uh, oh, they have a they have a master in the sky. Fun. Uh, can I seriously not hit you guys with a pocket doom yet? Come on. There we go. All right. Let's get that lad. Let's get stuck in and kill that boy. Okay, good stuff. That master is going to go down so fast. Although this is precarious. For sure. <laughs> Definitely precarious. Funny that. Dark Shards didn't survive against the five units of dire wolves. Bit weird, isn't it? You'd think they do great. And yeah, that's why I thought that was a bit precarious. All being sat on top of Malekith. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Yeah, fair enough. Suits me great. So, uh... Chase them down, please. And you know what? You can even go for the Dread Spears. It really doesn't matter. They're not large. They're not large, the uh, giant wolves. They count as infantry. So his bonus versus large does nothing for him. Which is rather nice. See, look. Getting torn to bits. And can you stop it with all that? My dryads are getting hurt. That's no fun. And... This manticore was supposed to be attacking Malakrith. It's doing a bad job of it. Oh, they're shattered. Okay. Next lot, then. Okay. Good. That was Fog of Doom. Got another Fog of Doom I'm gonna use. Though, I don't know where. Looks like the Chilisontar is nearly dead. Oh, how dare he. Oh, well, he's about to break. Alright. That went well. Unlucky Malekith. Unlucky. How are you not on Seraphon yet? Seriously. How? How? Anyway, moving on. Decisive victory. Got him. And I think that's the end 
of, uh, of the faction, I think. Yep, yeah, faction destroyed. Finally, got Nagarond. Well, that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. Well done. Oh, I want to stand your ground, so let's get, um... Shield of the Forest. Upgrade all our dryads. All our many, many four dryads. It's mostly, mostly monsters. Monsters in uh, Dodoric's army, which is quite fun. Though we just had sort of nature wipe out the Dark Elves. You know, all they do is dig big holes and set fire to things and spread just horrible corruption through the land that kills things. Um, so yeah, just having having a bunch of spiders and birds just be like, you know what? I'm going to peck your eyes out. Um, it's quite satisfying. It's quite satisfying. Okay, uh, Tala. Yeah, you're just going to stand there and recoup all of your losses from fighting uh, old what's-his-name. You know, old what's-his-name for the Dragon Isles. Gene the Wilder is... Oh, that was it. Yeah, we were going to take Karag Vlag. Good. And, oh, and Seep Gore. Yes, let's get you something too. Where is Seep Gore? There it is. I went down too far. Okay. Good. That'll do, I think. That'll do. Okay, dry chair. Yeah, you're still moving up. Dethu. You're done. So now it is actually just uh, to stay in here. Let's take Crookback Mountain. We've got plenty of dragons and treemen, so this should be pretty straightforward. Alright, so do I split up? I think I probably do. And we'll have doggos on either side. Because you know, they're the ultimate. The ultimate wall breakers. For some weird reason. Okay, we've only got a couple of hawks here. But we do have the two dragons, which, you know. Whoops. You guys go in your own group. Alright. Boop. Boop. You run over. You guys run to the walls. Oh, yeah, Scaven Settlement, isn't it? Ugh. That's no fun. Not a big fan of Skaven Settlements. They tend to rustle my jimmies. And yeah, two Black Orc units have decided to stand up there like idiots. Fantastic. Okay, let's hit some of these. And uh, them too. Alright, good enough. Okay, one of you. And attack them. And hopefully, that'll be a nice shot across the other unit as well. And it was basically wiped out the unit. Perfect. That's what I was after. That's what I was after. Alright, go for those night goblins, I suppose. Uh, and go for them again. That's fine. Alright, these guys are through. Um, cool. Let's just wander in, I suppose. Don't know what those black orcs think they're doing, but... Frankly, not a lot. Okay, can't use Arnsible's black horror just yet. Alright, start hitting those biggins. They are going to be a problem if I just let them live. Alright, let's hit these biggins as well. And let's get a flock of doom going. Uh, Arnsible's black horror. I am going to use now. Should bounce off the walls, hit some more of these guys. It, it should be a laugh. Alright, group five. Get in the air again. And blah blah blah. Black horror. Spooky scary. Some good spooky scary. Some good spooky scary. Okay, I didn't want to hit the big ones, so that's why I was on the flag for the black orcs. But, you know, you guys do you. You guys do you. Okay. Yeah, their lord is getting absolutely wrecked. I'd say crushed, but that's his name, and that seems rude, frankly. Oh, yeah, I didn't have wolves over here. I did. What happened to them? Oh, they're over there. That's fine. 
And the Black Orcs have finally decided to come down, but I really don't know what they're after there. Don't know what their angle is, you know? Some sort of stupid angle. <laughs> Alright, you guys get up here. You guys run into the center. May as well get stuck in in the middle somewhere, you know? Let the Black Orcs come to us. Okay, good. You guys keep chasing them. Alright. Who's next? Go get these trolls, shall we? Okay, let's get them sandwiched by Terra. That's what I like to see. Alright, things are going pretty well. Um... And if I can just hit them a bit, I can slow them down. Uh, <laughs> I'm a jerk. Okay, they decide to stop moving altogether, which is sort of weird, but, you know, whatever. It's their prerogative, I suppose. Alright, now birds, get in the sky. I know, it's a bit predictable, but... What can I say? I'm a very traditional man. I believe birds should be in the sky. Or on walls. Walls is good too. Not the ice cream. You know, although that is very traditional. It's a British ice cream company. Army losses? Army losses. First though. Just out of spite. Take that. And one of those. Eat your greens. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, uh, decisive victory. Okay, so. Boop. Even more territory. How many settlements do we have now? Like, seriously. Settlements owned, 129. That's too many. That's too many. That's definitely too many. Alright, how are you doing? Uh, verdant growth. Gives, uh, oh, that's rather nice. Gives regeneration. To, presumably, just to the lord, not all dryads, but either way, quite fun. So there you go. Enjoy that. Uh, I guess we're just going to go walk into the sort of, um, the sort of southern darklands, you know? I mean, the dark lands are up here, really, aren't they? You know, got Nobla, Country, Plain of Bones, the Wolf Lands, which is where, um, uh, God, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name now. Uh, oh, Gitilla the Hunter. That's the one. There's a, um, probably not a lord, but I'd like to see them as a lord one day, maybe. Um, it's a goblin wolf rider, um, character. Gitilla the Hunter. Which is quite fun. Which, you know, clearly like an Attila the Hun. Sort of like, make take. It's just a bunch of sort of nomadic, plains, running, gobbos, you know, coming over the mountains to come fight things. On, uh, on Wolfback. It's fun. So, uh, that'll do for this turn, I think, finally. And, yeah, we've finally managed to get to the point where we can end a turn, almost at the end of the episode. This is going to take weeks, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, Alright. Hero not moved. Catch the lost. Well, yeah, but she's lost, so don't worry about it. Also, she's in that stance where she can barely move. What were we doing with her? Like, genuinely, I've no idea. Were you heading back to the Oak of Ages for some reason? I don't know. Maybe? Just sit in Barakvar and chill out. And, oh, Strathet. I forgot we were conquering up here, too. Flippin' heck. Alright, you go over there. I think that's everybody. Moving on. Oh, and Candle is going to assassinate that person. Good job. Good job. Okay, Ashrak is being attacked by Moxie the Black. So, okay, there is another Chaos Army up here somewhere. Fine. So that'll have to go, obviously. Uh, okay, so the Border Princes want a trade agreement. 
um, for the cost of a bunch of money, which I think is quite fun that they're this desperate because um, Grimgore just declared a war on them. Why Grimgore didn't declare a war on me, I don't know. But um, apparently he hates the Border Princes more than me for some reason. Maybe he's just going to go for a more manageable war, you know? Because that's the thing, wars by nature are incredibly conservative. <laughs> so, yeah, why not? I'm going to trade with them until they get wiped out. That's if Grimgore ever makes it to them. Because I'm not sure I like Grimgore's chances of really accomplishing anything right now. Uh, to like to quit. Once another non-aggression pact, fine. Saves me some hassle. So, um, Candle got another level up. Which, I have nothing to spend it on, but that's fine. Uh, also, are there any characters left anywhere? I have no idea. So, while Grimgore has been activated on Gristat, which is really weird. Uh, invasion imminent. So, I'm gonna let them come to me this time, because I think that'll be fun. Although, uh, yeah, because it's two, so one of them could attack me this turn. Although, I don't think any one army could really take on um, all of this. But, I guess if two armies can't take on um, everything else, I think this would be quite exciting. So, let's go with... It's Savage Orc, so I don't need the armor piercing. So, extra base damage over armor piercing would be better. And extra melee defense means I can just sit in combat for a lot longer. Which is rather nice. So I go Aspect of the Willow for the first time ever with these Malevolent Treemen. I've always gone with one of the other abilities with the Malevolent Treemen. I've been like, oh, I'll use them to, you know, crack the armor on things because the Dryads can kill the Chaff easily enough anyway. And even if they can't, you know, we got the damage over time effects from the Treemen anyway. So, you know, it all just sort of worked. All right, you keep heading that way. Uh, I guess I guess Catra might as well start attacking these places too, huh? Might as well. Might as well wipe out the green skins. There can only be one green thing, and it's trees, not orcs. Now, nah, being you green tide, so there's going to be a lot of trees. Okay, let's have a look. Rally? Why the heck not? Okay, boopity boop. Um, I guess you go for that. And now I'm just thinking Drysha should probably head south, right? We should probably take Karak 8 Peaks, because it exists. So I'm actually going to head north, uh, south, rather. Because, yeah, we now have three armies all pushing through these lands. Uh, where's Ags in here? He's going to go for Karak Asgal, no doubt, but that's fine. I don't really care if they take any territory. It's just going to slow them down. So, you know, it's fine, really. Uh, you, Aspect of Birch, thank you. Weird that Tala didn't have um, them equipped with that. Uh, I am going to go into March Start, which is a little risky. But, okay, let's see if we can't get over there. So yeah, one more turn to get close by, and then the next turn we should be able to land and attack the settlement. Because I think the settlement's about here. So yeah, that'll be good. Okay. And now way up here, let's fight more Norskins. I think Norskins are going to get wiped out by the end of this campaign too. It's really just going to be like Lizardman of Bretonia left, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, no point getting Dark Heart. I check that every time, don't I? Yes, I do. Uh, Shield of the Forest. Brilliant. All of these... Well, I need to get to gold rank first, but... All of them can benefit. And Norska has... Is it three settlements left? I've little time for talking. Uh, five settlements left. Only still five. Where are they hiding them all? Oh, there's one over here. And... I guess there's another one in here somewhere, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure where his last one is. Hiding it very well. Because, yeah, I only see, uh, four settlements. See, so, yeah, I really don't know where the last one is. Is there one on the coast somewhere? No, there's not. Oh, very strange. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll, I'll, oh, it'll turn up, right? It'll turn up. So, yeah, you've got that now. You, Gene the Wilder, can head to Bear Sondling's camp. Might as well, eh? Might as well. And brilliant. Still getting replenishment. Lovely. Boop. Oh, and you got to level up. Nope, you don't. 
to Tay and one does. Violent delights. Good stuff. Thilvokas. Uh, you know what? Why aren't I doing this? Much better. Good. Uh, Dirthu the Forgotten. Trycha, Ketra, Strathot. Tolterin. That should be enough for an ambush, right? Ah, I'll hold out a little longer. Because, uh, yeah, we've always got another army up here, so. But really, though, Snarl Rulers can get very angry with me soon. With all this trespassing. I mean, it's me that cleared out all this area in the first place. You'd think they'd be, um, cool with it. Our allies are doing quite well here, actually. Starting to spread out a bit. There's Moxie of the Black. Uh, we are suffering a bit of attrition here for Colis. And I don't like the idea of Colis necessarily fighting this army. But... I guess... If we manage to get an ambush, I would be cool with it. Alright, let's just go like here. Because they might head south, I really don't know. I mean, they won't be able to reach this. Alright, go to the Great Arena, we'll get a turn of avoiding attrition, get a bit of replenishment. And we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I'm going to suffer attrition. Uh, I mean, I guess I could go into World Root Stance, but I hate that stance. It it's slows the game down for seemingly no reason. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that's everybody. <gasps> did we do another turn already? Apparently we did. Apparently we did. And yeah, okay, now let's get diplomatic relations with Dark Elves up. That'll be really useful for all of the elves that are alive. <laughs> I like to think we're just adopting their gods. Because all the elven gods are just like, um... Could do with being worshipped a bit. It's kind of where we derive all our power from. You can pretend the elves don't exist if you like. Okay. Dreicher finally just got... How have you only just got Taskmaster? What on earth? How very strange. Okay, fine. Well, that's all good. Okay, uh, Dirthu, wipe them out, please. Thanks. Perfect. Boop. Boop. And now, um, Katra. No, you can't reach Barak Dwazbag, so tell you what, you can't reach anything. You're not very good at this, are you, Katra? Run faster, silly. Oh, it looks like he's going to take that one, so you keep going that way. I'm just filling in the blanks, you know. Dirthu can take Barak Dwazbag. And, um... Oh, and Vlaeusar is gone. Balagar's been, you know, confederated. It's okay. That's fine. Um... You what? Okay. And now let's take Karak eight peaks before, um... Balagar can, because that amuses me. And the Exiles and the Heck are going to declare war on these guys. Let's see if they actually join us. Let's see if they make themselves useful. Hello. Okay, we can just auto-resolve this. There's really no need to fight it. Um, we might lose something, which would be a bit sad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to auto-resolve it. I know. I know. I'm an insane person. Just destroyed two of the, like, two, the two best settlements in the region I just sacked and raised to the ground. Might as well, you know. Might as well. Uh, you're actually going to go for Black Iron Mine before you head that way. I've decided. Because I want to try to, to head south and fight Wurzag. Though, so, um, yeah, we're getting a little injured now. From all the auto-resolving and whatnot. Oh, and Katria, you're suffering some attrition. Not much, though. Uh, Strathert. We won't move you yet. We'll, uh... We'll get to the... Bear Sonling's camp. Although, it doesn't look like we can reach it. it doesn't look like we can reach just yet. So, never mind. Uh... Okay, let's just go up here. Can I get over here? I don't think I can. Alright. It's going to trespass on Louis's uh, territory. Sorry, Louis. I'm sure you don't mind. You know, I'm, I'm doing you a lot of favours here. Okay, Tolturin. 90% ambush chance. Seems pretty good to me. And then we'll have one army as bait. Excellent. 
Masterful ambush. Wonderful. Uh, can't see where Chaos have got to. Can't see where they've got to. Where have you got to, Chaos? Where have you got to? Oh, he's 60% ambush chance, huh? It's a bit rubbish. Apparently these aren't real forests. They're just pretending. And that is a lot of attrition, too. Alright, I think she went into they went into this area. Ah, there they are. There they are. Found them. Found them. Um, in that case... Ah, uh, I strayed too far. <laughs> yeah, I strayed too far. 60% uh, ambush chance. I mean, that's not terrible. They have a bigger army than me. I'm going to get some wildlife. Let's get some more hawks. Yeah, spiders wouldn't be a bad call either. Alright, that'll do. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been sneezing so much lately. Okay. That'll do. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep everywhere they are. Over there. Uh, Tala. You keep moving and grooving. Ah, oh, Krokgar's on the move. Good for him. Good for him. Alright, now where are these little sods? Oh, there's one. So, yep, yeah, should be able to attack uh, Dragon Fang Mountain pretty soon, which is lovely. So, yeah, hopefully get rid of these guys in a hurry. Yay. But that's going to have to wait till next episode, because we're still going. We're still going. And the armies are here. Wow. Well, these armies are a little bit insane. Just, like, all rogue idols and giants. I actually have no idea how to fight that. I really don't. That, and can I just say how clever I thought I was being with uh, with all of the bonus versus infantry. So I don't need armor piercing. Oh, nothing but rogue idols. Thanks, game. You douches. <laughs> Still, with an ambush, you know, bad leadership, we might be able to whittle them down. This would be so easy if I had, like, an army of Weight Watchers. Like, seriously. Can you imagine? It'd be laughably easy. But Dryads, things got to be a lot more direct. Bit of a problem. In fact, let's get another lord, shall we? Can I get another lord? Maybe? Probably? I really have no idea. Let's find out. That's the wrong button. Uh, more magic sounds like a giggle. But... Maybe shadows is the way I want to go? Extra ambush success chance, which I quite like. And a befuddlement of mischiefs. Which is that nice net. Let's do that. And let's get some more nonsense. And I mean, I've just got to go with more dryads, don't I? Because of course I do. What else am I going to get? Although actually, like a billion hawk riders would be quite fun. But they are elves. But I think it would be quite fun to have a billion hawk riders. Hmm. So tempting. Or a billion great eagles. And get them in one turn as well. I'm really just picking something that I can get in one turn, which would suit. Oh, there we go. Billion great eagles. Great! Eagles. Excellent. Have fun. Uh, okay, we're going to end it here, guys. This will be the end of the episode. But, uh, yeah, the two, the two attacking armies. We're going to be fighting these both at the same time, I think. Next turn, which is unbelievable. Uh, thank God we've got one ambush, though. But yeah, this is nuts. This is crazy. These armies are just disgusting. <laughs> I just can't believe they were like, oh yeah, savage orcs. No, no, sa not a single savage orc. It's savage orc themed, but no, not a single savage orc. It's ridiculous. Anyway, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.